I'm Amy Gann from AASI. We're here with REI. Previously, we've covered how to snowboard. Today, we're going to be looking at those next steps and how to venture to the rest of the mountain. We're going to be covering steering with both feet, controlling speed through turn shape, riding steep terrain, and riding in the bumps. With any of these skills we practice on our snowboard, it's really important to put in a lot of mileage. It's not something we do once and we check it off our list. It's something that we're going to be practicing often and every time we come out riding to keep those skills up and progress. Steering with both feet is going to be really important as we progress. It's the same skill that we practice in the very beginner lesson where we initiated with the front foot and had the back foot follow. That's the same exact thing we're going to be applying to steeper terrain. To steer with both feet in a turn, traverse across the hill, initiate with your front foot, quickly followed by your back foot, shift onto the new edge, traverse back across the hill and finish your turn. If this is done correctly, it should feel really smooth that the front foot is doing most of the work and the back foot is following nicely and the upper body doesn't have to do any work. When we're practicing steering with both feet, we're trying to avoid having to use our upper body to swing our board around. This is going to give us more control and even though we're doing it skidding right now, that's how we snowboard most of the time. It's also the exact same skills we're going to be working on when we do move to carving. When we do this, we're going to be focusing on using the shape of the turn through a skid to be slowing ourselves down during the turn and towards the end of the turn by steering back across the hill. With this, we're going to be focusing on the skid nice and evenly throughout the entire turn. And that's going to be dumping speed, and this really applies when we get to steeper terrain. What we try to avoid is having to slam the brakes at the end of the turn and chatter out. If we can get ourselves to skid throughout the entire turn, by the end we're riding nice and smooth back across the hill. When we want to close our turns is when we're on really steep terrain. This is going to allow us to slow ourselves down and make sure we're in control before we enter our next turn. Where we might want to ride an open turn is when it, maybe at the bottom of a trail when it flattens out and we need to carry speed to the lift. We're going to want to open that up so that we don't slow ourselves down too much during every turn so that we can make it to where we want to go. What we're doing in steep terrain is exactly the things we've been focusing on as we've been learning. The things we want to make sure we cover are exaggerating our weight onto our front foot when we enter a turn, matching our, our shoulders and hips to the pitch of the terrain, which means that the steeper it is, the further I need to get my shoulders and hips down the hill so that I can keep that weight on the front foot. Just like in our beginner lesson, our first couple turns, we often want to drift and lean away from the hill, and this isn't going to allow us to uh, get the board to grip up right, and it's not going to allow for the controlling that we want through the whole turn. We also want to make sure at the end of the turn we come all the way back across the hill to slow ourselves back down. Riding bumps are really fun, but as a beginner, they can be a little bit intimidating. We're going to give you a few skills so that if you happen to come upon a bump run you weren't expecting, or at the end of a powder day when it starts to get choppy, you can have a few things to keep in mind to get you through comfortably. The two tactics we're going to use to ride the bumps are traversing across them and absorbing them while we're riding them. So when we go into the bump field for the first time, we want to focus on traversing across the hill rather than looking straight down the fall line. Traversing is going to allow us to keep our speed down and absorb the bumps without getting out of control. Ideally, you can find a bump run that has groomers on each side of it so that you can just traverse across, get out onto the groomer, make your turn, and traverse back across on your other edge. As we're traversing, we also need to be absorbing the bumps. So we're going to be using our legs independently to suck up and push down into the bumps at the same time. This is going to allow the board to stay in contact with the snow so we don't get any accidental air. When we do this, we head up the bump by sucking up our front leg and then our back leg and then pushing down our front leg and then our back leg. These are things I do in my snowboarding every single day. The more you practice them and put time into each of these skills, the more areas of the mountain you'll be able to conquer and have more fun with. I hope you like this video. Please check out our others and subscribe to our channel.